In Hong Kong, the government's deadline has arrived. It wants pro-democracy demonstrators to clear out as the work week starts. Some have agreed to pull back, but not all. Seth Doan is there. Tonight, die-hard protesters are remaining on some Hong Kong streets. This despite a call from the city's top leader to vacate protest camps by Monday morning so schools and government offices can reopen. Protester Kaho Lee plans to sleep out here. I don't think we should back down now because if we back down, it means that we're giving up all our hopes. Pro-democracy demonstrators wearing yellow ribbons have been blocking roads and government buildings for well over a week. They've tried to force the chief executive to step down and are pushing for voting reform to allow free elections. But making those points has come at a cost. Clashes between pro-democracy demonstrators and counter-protesters opposed to them have continued through the weekend. We need to go to school, go to work. We're just ordinary people just hoping to live a peaceful life, this woman said. The counter-protesters wearing blue ribbons say there's been too much disruption and the pro-democracy movement is hurting the economy. Salespeople tell us there are fewer shoppers. Do you know how much each shop needs to pay for rent, this woman asked? 200 buses have changed or canceled routes, and this taxi driver said the blocked roads have cost him half his business. All along, these protesters have been telling us that even if these streets are cleared, they feel that now that this pro-democracy movement has been sparked, it cannot be silenced. Seth Doan, CBS News, Hong Kong.